RMS Tyrannic was, uh, if not, the biggest liner at the time. The Tyrannic came in at an astonishing 1,000 plus feet long. At the time, the Tyrannic would rival Cunard Line's biggest vessel, Queen Mary, while also having to battle against the French Line's biggest vessel, Normandy. Her construction would take around four and a half years and take in over 3,500 workers to complete. On 16, 1935, the RMS Tyrannic would be launched. This day broke news headlines and over 15,000 people watched as a massive Tyrannic launched from the dry docks and into Southampton Harbor. On 27th, 1937, after the Tyrannic had been fitted out, she would prepare for her maiden voyage. Tyrannic would set sail from Southampton to Cherbourg to Halifax and then to New York. On her maiden voyage, she would carry 4,756 passengers and crew. This voyage would take her about 5 to 6 days to complete. Voyage. The Tyrannic would serve a normal civilian career and continue sailing the Southampton to New York route. Being in civilian service for a good time, RMS Tyrannic would be drafted into World War II as a gunship. She would fight alongside RMS Queen Mary and RMS Aquitania. During the war, Tyrannic would be torpedoed. Due to her hull strength, she would survive and went back to Southampton. After the war, the Tyrannic would return to civilian service and continue to serve under the White Star Line Company until 1956 where Tyrannic would have a fatal blow up in one of her engines in port, causing a fire and sinking her. All 357 crew on board would unfortunately not survive the incident. Engine explosion. The cause of the engine explosion had been found out to be a malfunctioning technical problem in the engine bay that had gone unknown since her refit in 1950. And that is the story about the RMS Tyrannic. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I have more short films on other ships coming soon. Stay tuned and I'll see you all later. Adios.